So what I did instead was I used an extra serving of egg whites to boost the protein just a little bit. And I have been putting cheese in here, like shredded cheese. Yesterday I used up all of my cheddar cheese, so I had mozzarella left and I was just gonna put mozzarella in and then it dawned on me that I have pizza sauce in the refrigerator. So I used the pizza sauce and instead of using the goat cheese, I just used mozzarella cheese. So we just have a pizza themed, um, pizza themed fold over today. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my channel, and a happy September. The day I am filming this is September 1st. We are in the new month, and I'm feeling pumped about it. And one important thing about September is it is CMT Awareness Month, which means I'm trying to gear at least some of my content towards awareness of the disease that I have, CMT, Charcot Marie Tooth Disease. And so today's vlog, you might notice, is titled A Day in the Life with CMT. Every day in the life vlog that I have ever posted is technically speaking a day in the life with CMT, but I don't often emphasize some of the everyday struggles that I have with CMT. So I'm going to do my best throughout the day today to kind of show you bits and pieces of what exactly my life with CMT is like. For example, first thing in the morning, you saw me put my braces on and the process that that takes, I actually had that at least doubled in speed for you, if not four times the speed for you. And it was still a pretty lengthy clip, right? Like it takes me a while to put my shoes on. And then I went for a walk, which was wonderful. I enjoyed that. And then I got myself ready, got showered, got dressed, and I thought it might be fun to show you a little bit of the struggle that I have on a daily basis with putting my hair up in a ponytail because I know for a lot of people it's quick, easy, you know, 2.5 seconds and it's done. But the difference for me is I can't, I can't lift my hands up y'all. I can't like, I'm trying, I'm trying to get to the top of my head and I can't, I have to lean. I have to lean on myself in order to keep my hands up here. So the simple act of doing my hair is actually quite a struggle and very complicated and energy draining for me. And it never actually comes out well, like this is fine, but it's, but it ain't like cute or perfect or anything. Um, and I did my <laughs> CMT up in here today. Opening Ziploc bags of my cheese for my breakfast, things like that, carrying the coffee pot, 
everything is a struggle, but that's okay. It's gonna be a great day, regardless of the fact that everything is a struggle. Today, what is the plan? I actually, for the first time this week, have nothing on my calendar. No coaching calls, no group coaching calls, no internet commitments, and my website is officially launched, which means I don't have to work on that either except for the fact that I did this morning. Evidently, I managed to thoroughly vet and edit the desktop version of my website, but a lot of the changes that I made to the desktop version didn't transfer over to the mobile version. And so a couple of people messaged me and be like, hey, your site's great, but I noticed X. And so I actually spent about an hour already this morning going through and making a bunch of changes to the mobile specific version of my website. That is the extent of most of the web, or actually any of the website work that I'm doing today. That's the extent of it. That's it. We're done. So now I actually want to go over to Target to pick up a couple of things because even though I wanted to grocery shop tomorrow, I'm trying to plan enough ahead where my need to go to Target today can actually just be my Target run for the next handful of days. So I'm trying to plan out what I need for that. But I think first I am going to go over to Ulta. And this is not something I planned on doing today, but the last couple of days I have put makeup on my face and I have found that my foundation that I've been using, I think, I think is, has aged out. It's actually starting to oxidize a little bit and like, and it turns out weirder colored than it's supposed to, not as natural colored as it's supposed to. And don't get me wrong, I love the foundation, but I've also been leaning towards trying a different one with the same brand. And so I figured, why not go over to Ulta today with a clean face and have them shade match me and actually go purchase the foundation I need. I also am going to pick up a new powder foundation because it Cosmetics discontinued my favorite powder foundation. And it's, it is to the point, have you ever used a powdered cosmetic product where like by the time you get to the end, like it, it gets like so caked down and a little bit weird and so much so that like you have a hard time actually picking up any product on your brushes. It's just kind of there, but it's not actually functional. That is where this foundation is for me. So it is, and the other powder foundation I have, I don't love. So uh, full transparency, some of the products that I have from House of Color, remember when I got my colors done last fall, um, I'm not loving their face products. Their primer, I think, is what's making me break out. I have a whole bunch of breakouts happening, and I've been using their primer more frequently, and I think that has a lot to do with it. So even though I have this full container of product, I'm not gonna use it anymore because it's breaking me out. And their powder foundation is fine, but it's not stellar. And when I have breakouts, I need something a little bit more than fine to be able to put something on my face. So we're gonna go to Ulta, get a new liquid foundation and a new powder foundation, then we're gonna go over to Target, and then it's going to be housewifing day because I have been neglecting most of my housewifing duties this week because I've been sitting my sorry little tush at this computer. So that's the plan for today. Come along with me, I'll guide you through the struggles I have to the best of my ability along the way. And here's the reality of that. Half the time, not even joking, half the time I don't even realize that what I'm doing is by definition a struggle because I struggle with these things every day. So for me, what one would normally say, oh, it's a struggle for you or it is something more complicated for you, it's just normal for me. So I don't even, it doesn't even register for me that, oh my gosh, this is something that is taking more energy than it would be for a fully able-bodied person or something that I'm struggling with because my hands don't work, my arms don't work, things like that. So I will do my best to kind of call them out as I see them, but I don't always see them. That being said, let's go. I'm right by Crumble Cookies. My bargain with myself is I can go and have one. I wanna try the revamped version of their basic sugar cookie. I've never actually had their basic sugar cookie before, um, but I have to walk to go get it. It's all the way over there. 
I have no braces on right now. I like to change whether or not I'm wearing my braces. So I keep activating different muscles when I walk. So while it is, I am slower and it is harder for me to walk without my braces on, it activates different muscles. So I have no braces on for my errand running, but I'm going to walk over to Crumble and get me a cookie. car because um, I don't want to like turn on the thing, the car, and have the Bluetooth connect and me not be able to use the mic. But I have secured the goods. Can you see it? The goods. So I thought I would give you a first impression. Apparently they revamped their cookie. So, do, 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 oh, look at the light. There we go. So it's a whole new formula first and it's chilled. I've never had one of their chilled cookies before. Oh, the almond in that frosting is bomb. Mmm. I mean, that's solid for a sugar cookie. Good. That's good. Is it my favorite crumble cookie? No. But it's nice to try it. All right, finally back home. How about a little mini Target haul? Because it's not very big. I got a bucket because my husband put cheap bucket on the list and I found a cheap bucket. It was five bucks. Um, we have some pasta. I was going to get spaghetti and then I decided that spaghetti is too complicated to eat. So I got one that we don't have to cut up when we eat it. Super lean ground turkey to go with the pasta and Parmesan cheese to go with the pasta. And then there is spaghetti sauce already in the refrigerator. So that's going to be tomorrow's dinner. I got some more Kemp's frozen yogurt ice cream. This time the sea salt caramel truffle flavor. I got Canadian bacon. Let me tell you, Guys, if you can get this at Sam's Club or Costco, do it. It is so much less expensive when you buy it in bulk. And it lasts a while because they're in vacuum sealed packages. So, But I got this along with this because I've been eating my egg voldovers all week and I've been out of my typical ingredients. So now I have a new pack of Velveeta slices. I love these. They melt so great in the egg voldovers. So I love to use them. We got some frozen waffles. We got a frozen meal for my husband to have for dinner tonight. And there was a sale on strawberries. So I got two pounds of strawberries because they still look good. So there's my little target haul. Do you want to play? Look. Look, Gracie. Mommy, play. Come on. Mommy, play. Yeah. Uh, mommy, get on the floor here. Oh, wait, now you're going to eat your treat? You're such a stinker. Oh, I do all this work to get on the floor. <laughs> all she wants to do is eat. But I have to be on the floor in my corner in order to do it. So I've got some iced coffee. And now I'm going to spend some time with this little one. All right. I have no idea if this is going to make a difference. But these are the tomatoes from my CSA box last Friday. And the one on the left has ripened a bit, but the one on the right is still green. So I'm actually going to sun them for a few hours while the sun is beating down on my back patio. And we will see if that kind of helps speed the process along because I'm afraid they're not going to ripen by the time I need to actually eat them. So I don't want them to go bad. Let me know if you know how to ripen tomatoes quickly without rotting them. Anyway, I did want to give a shout out to the amazing flowers that my husband bought me. They're gorgeous. They're from Target. He brought home flowers when he was out on Saturday and all of these lilies were closed and like they all looked like this. And look at, I have never seen lilies never seen lilies that have like that purple speckle in the middle and it's just such a perfectly fall bouquet absolutely gorgeous because life is entirely about balance due to the fact that i had a cookie earlier today my lunch at 2 30 p.m is cucumbers rotisserie chicken breast meat and dill pickle seasoning and that's it lean light 
clean and the exact opposite of the indulgence I had earlier. It's time for educational enrichment. Here you go, kid. Here's your puzzle. Okay. Check out the little dude! Look at this guy! Look at this guy! I don't think I've ever been this up close and personal with a grasshopper before. Because he's not a cricket, right? He's a grasshopper. We have a cricket that makes a whole lot of noise all hours of the day and night. I don't think this is him. But he's just hanging. I need to go out and get my tomatoes. But I'm going to let him climb on the window for as long as he needs to climb on the window before I open the door <laughs> and disturb him. <laughs> I'm going to be real real with y'all. After my last clip, I was going to bring my camera downstairs and realize that I never charged the old battery, so both of my batteries were dead. Which means I had no camera, so I was like, fine, whatever. I plugged, I plugged it in, figured I'd come back later. I have had no energy since about three o'clock this afternoon. It is 20 after seven. I have managed to get to 10,000 steps. I fought myself tooth and nail to fold some laundry that has been in the dryer. It was just towels and stuff, but it had been in the dryer for three days and I just hadn't mustered the energy to go and get it. My husband didn't know it was there or he would have done it. It would have been fine, but I didn't want to have him do that. I'm like, it's easy. I'll do it. I just needed an evening that I had the energy. So I forced myself to do that. And then I managed to clean the bathrooms and wipe down everything that was a glass surface with Windex. I haven't done much since. I made myself some dinner. It was delicious. Um, pro tip, if you are using wild grain products like the biscuits, don't put them in an air fryer that says it can bake because it's just not the same. Use an oven. Um, I only put one in there, thank goodness, but I will not be doing that again because while it was still good, it was extra crispy and not biscuity enough for me. Anyway, um, this is, and at first I was getting really frustrated with myself that I didn't have the energy to like go upstairs and get the battery once it was charged and move my tripod and stuff around. And then I went, you know what? That's actually okay because it's literally the point of this video. This is what a day with CMT is like. I don't know when or how or how much my energy is gonna just like that and be gone. So it's a prime example of I was going, I was doing, I was feeling good, whatever, but all of a sudden I'm just, I wanna sit in this chair. I'm going to muster the energy to go wash my face, brush my teeth, get my APAP machine set up. I've already set up the coffee for the afternoon or for tomorrow morning and I'm gonna change my clothes and I'm gonna sit in this chair and do not much else. Maybe I'll crochet, maybe I'll read, I don't know. I'm not getting to all of my daily action items. Day one, September one, and I know I'm not getting to all of my daily action items on my power sheets today, and that's okay. That's how it works sometimes. Tomorrow, I might have all the energy in the world. Tomorrow, I might wake up feeling like this. We just don't know. And that is what life with CMT is like. You just don't know. And it varies so much person to person. Keep this in mind. It varies so much person to person that this is just my experience. Some people don't wake up with any energy to begin with. Some, you know, and some people might have more energy. Some people energy might not be an issue, but they have something else that I don't. This disease is so different for everybody. So just as a friendly reminder, my story for CMT is not everybody's story for CMT. It's just mine. Um, and thank you.
for participating in this with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to click subscribe. And I will see you guys again real, real soon. Have a good night.